All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Uh, sorry about this being a somewhat late stream, but uh, I'm in the mood to play Zelda games. I don't know. I, I, I've been playing them, like, on my off time, so I figured now would be a good time to just sit back and enjoy some Zelda 1. I know there's no webcam up right now. I'm sorry about that, but... Um, uh, it's been a little too warm as of late, so it's probably going to be like this for today and for Wednesday as well, because uh, in my area, we're in a bit of a heat wave. So hopefully, you know, hopefully you'll be OK with me going without a webcam for the next two streams. But um, but yeah, so SG, how you doing? Everybody else in the chat who um, feel free to say hello uh, as I play through The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. I'm currently playing on the Switch because uh, I've been playing the Switch for a while. So, yeah. Uh, SG, I'm doing pretty good. Let's see, uh, I need to check something really quick, because I'm going to record locally. Uh, let me know if, like, when I actually do get in the game, let me know if it's, uh, if it's, if the game's too loud. I'll, I'll, I just need to get to my volume for the capture card. So that way I have that on standby. But yeah, I love this game. So I wanted... I, I think I've played it before. Hey, Suzumi, how you doing? Like, I've played this game before. Um, might have been like over a year ago. And... I don't know, there's just something about it that I really love. Uh, maybe it's just the fact that it's one of the oldest games that I've played that I still enjoy going back to to this day. So yeah. So while the intro is going, just want to find out how all of you are doing. So we could do that. Plus, it's rare when I get, actually get to see the intro. Basically, it tells the whole backstory that leads to the events of A Link to the Past. So we can do that for a bit. And then for today, I think I'm planning to just get all the way to, um, to Dark World. The moment I get to Dark World, we'll kind of just call it a day there come back on uh on Wednesday and maybe knock out another possible third of the game because I feel like I could probably get through that in a short amount of time. That will take a good while. I don't know. I, I, I'm very confident in how I play A Link to the Past. Although I should probably should sorry if uh, you hear me drinking water. <laughs> it's it's hot here. But I probably was going to play on my Super Nintendo Classic, but, um, and look at that. Uh, I probably should have, because I have, like, two complete save files on there that has, like, all of the hearts. <laughs> Got the best mom here. How you doing? The one who awoos is here. I'm playing an old video game on a new system. Even though I have, like, three copies of this. Like, I have it on Switch. I have a Super Nintendo version. I have a Super Nintendo Classic. All to play A Link to the Past. And, you know, I have other games there, too. But that's not the point. <laughs> Probably leaving soon. It's already 2 a.m. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, if you if you need to, don't worry about it. It's all good. I understand. Holy crap, 2 a.m. <laughs> In the morning? Nah. 1.40. Oh, wow. Oh, so it's... Wow, that's crazy. Y'all are up late. Sorry, I'm just checking a few things real quick. And we can go into it. Uh, that I was playing, I don't remember why I was playing this before. I think I just got that far and kind of stopped. I'll erase it. Um, I'm just going to go with, I just call him Link. I'm boring that way. Imagine being a just chatting streamer and doing nothing else. <laughs> I would get so bored of that. I know people... I, I've had someone ask me to do a just chatting stream, but that's, to me, that's boring. I might just be the only one that thinks that way. Two-Tailed Player, how you doing? Brought to you by the Don't Be an East Hot Gang. What's that? Um, you have a problem with me, not uh, of my goals and aspirations of being an E-Thought? Alice, something you want to tell me? <laughs> huh? Are you thought shaming me? 
You don't like competition? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Fine. There won't be competition. Be like that. <laughs> so, right. Basically, Zelda through telepathy tells us that she is captured and that we have to go and rescue her. I don't know how. I guess because Link's uncle is a soldier or something? I don't know exactly what, what uh, how she knows to use telepathy on Link. Maybe it's just random kid kind of thing. F's in the chat for the uncle. Sorry about that. So, I remember, um, I don't know, I think it's the same way with Ocarina of Time. Whenever I did, like, the early stuff, uh, before I go into, like, for Ocarina of Time, it would be the future, and for this game, it would be to Dark World. Before I would do that, um, I always found the beginning part kind of boring. These days, not anymore, you know, it's just, you know, easier stuff. I always just found that, like, Dark World and, like, the future, when you play as, as the older version of Link, um... I always found this to be more interesting. I think that's why. A Link to the Past Link is best Link. Alright then. <laughs> oh, I just realized I wasn't recording any of that. Oh well. Oops. Eh, I don't care. I'll just re-record it, whatever. Any excuse to play this game. Uh, been recording Zelda games just so that we, uh... Oh, it's like a little, th a little secret project I'm working on, but I can't get into it. I was a wooed 10 bits. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. Also, I have some clips to post on Twitter when I'm done today, because I played Zelda 2, and... Okay. <laughs> I mean, that happened. First time I played this game, I wanted to try that glitch where you can complete the game in, what was it, three minutes? That's kind of cool. I don't think I would ever want to try doing that. Uh, I prefer just playing through the whole game, but then again, that's just me. But I understand. Out of all the top downs of the games, Minish Cap was your favorite. I've never played that before. I should probably get a copy when I can, because it does look kind of cool. I've only seen, like, little bits of gameplay from it. You get it? <laughs> Please, I mean, um, peer pressure is like, you know, not good in, in all. Please don't do that. I'm feeling peer pressure right now. Magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle, I fear for th I feel the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Yep. All right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go through the first floor. Let's go. It is funny. I used to skip. I mean, I probably skipped it at this point, but um, I used to go through the text so fast. I never heard uh, I never heard the full Zelda's lullaby, so I always thought it had like the beginning part of it only in uh in this game and then i heard the whole thing I was like wow it sounds so good in 16 bit i'm surprised i never let it keep playing 
Isn't it just fun to throw pots at people's faces? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna go to my boomerang because this is fun to use. It needs to be buffed. I think we're good. Got it. I think I remember the last time, or the first time I actually ever streamed this on an old channel. It took me about four sessions to go through it, but then again, I think I was trying to go for everything, or I was just distracted by everything around me. Now it's just like, I'm a bit more focused whenever I play this game. I will go up here. Thanks, SG. Ugh. That old channel. I'm surprised so- I'm surprised enough people know about that channel that have- that now follow my cha uh, my content. Alright, Suzumi, thanks for coming by. Hope you have a good one. But yeah, I'm surprised, like... I went into uh, my friend Retropolis Zone stream, and, like, I had, I think, two or three people mentioning that channel. It's like, I'm surprised people even know about it, like, even remember it. Just because, you know, I practically... I pretty much abandoned the channel three years ago. Or, it was less than three years ago, but it's almost three years, like, in August or something. Because I kind of just started making Knuckles Channel's videos. So, it's really weird when it's like, oh, you're this person. And so it's like, how the hell do you even know about that? And again, maybe it's people that have, like, kind of followed myself and some of my friends. Really? Ah, right. Okay, that's another thing. I don't check my... That's weird, because it's supposed to change it to Knuckles Channel. Hmm. Okay, thanks, Steam. You're keeping the name... Well, and then again, I have it for, like, gamer tags for, like, Xbox, because I refuse to pay to change it. <laughs> but technically, um... My Steam account should just say Knuckles Channel. I don't... Then again, it probably has it on, like, the previous usernames. Discord's fault, not really Steam. Damn it, Discord. Just making me remember my past. Although, to be fair, when I was running that channel only, and before Knuckles Channel existed, that was actually a lot of fun. I was just goofing off talking to my friends. You have to disconnect and reconnect to update it. Eh, screw that. I'm not doing that. It ain't worth it. If so if somebody else asks what it is, I could just tell them it's a relic from the from my past. I'm not exactly. Not exactly gonna say, you know, who's Gaming Tank or what is that. Unless I'm so tired I can't remember it. <laughs> I've done that before. It's like, what? And then it's like something I usually remember so well. But nah, that's that's an old thing from uh, almost 10 years ago. Alright, so we have to go to the switch right here. But if we don't, then this happens. I think it's more enemies. Yeah, see? You get more of those. Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> you have to pay in order to change your username on Xbox. PlayStation doesn't require you to pay, I don't think. it. Um, I think they give you a one-time change, and that's it. Um, but then it's like, oh, it might not work properly with uh, games. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before you can destroy all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. A sense of mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary master sword. It is said that the villager is an elder. Said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map, but watch your every move. I'm certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Let's freaking do it. Can't change Steam usernames either, but you can change what your name displays as. Ducky Doe, how you doing? You can do it for free once, if I call, recall correctly. Yeah, you can do it once for free, and then every time afterwards you have to pay. But, um, 
on PlayStation is like there's a few issues that you might have when it comes to trying to change your username. Like you might come across issues with games that it might not display properly. Or it might display your older name. I'm just like, whatever. I don't even use I don't use my PlayStation account. Oh yeah, it messes with your game files. So maybe like pre existing games it'll probably like corrupt them or be like, yeah, this is not tied to it. And then you have to like open a new uh, make a new save file for it. Eh. Kinda sucks, but whatever. It's kind of like an issue. It's probably like a legacy thing where they just never thought about, hey, maybe we want to implement changing usernames. Uh, I'm going to do that. Push that down. Push that to the side. This here. This here. That there. We're going to actually come back to this room because I can't get the stuff in the back because I need a bomb and I will need to get that as I go here. Probably go for some bottles ASAP. Yeah, I know. I have enough for one right now. Um, I can get another one, and then I can also get a bug catching it all in this area. So this dude, or person, is uh, selling bottles. And then we can go up here to get some bombs and some more, uh, some more rupees. There's the bombs. I'll grab one. I'm surprised with the emulation on Super Nintendo that it's not as like weird as the NES emulation. Because NES emulation on Switch, like I said, it has like its graphical errors on the top part where it just like glitches out for a bit. Maybe I'll show that one. Um, I'll probably post that on Twitter. Like, I have um, recorded stuff on my, like, with the capture button. I did that. And it has a few uh, glitches that happened. Might be a resolution problem. No, nah, I don't. No, nah, it's not that. If it was a resolution problem, I would know about it. But um, I think it's just, it could be, like, um, whenever there's, like, sprite flickering. Um, it's more prone to doing that. I'll have to go and double check. There we go. I have half of a heart piece already. Or a heart container. Just need two more and I get a full heart container and, you know, add one more heart. But, uh, I was trying to play Zelda 2 because I wanted to see if I still... What I still thought of the game, like, three years later. And... I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that game anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so frustrating. Switch doesn't play nice with a lot of things. True. That is true. The kid is sick. He caught the cold from the evil air that is coming off the coming down the mountain. This bug catching it, I'll use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. When I first finished the game though, it's only missing one heart piece to get in the digging mini game. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, there's also the piece when you go to the uh, dungeon in Turtle Rock in uh, Dark World. That was another annoying one because you don't really, um, you, don't, you don't expect it to be there. But thankfully I remembered it. So that's two magic bottles. And I will go back for anything else later. I think this I need something for it. Okay, I was thinking A Link Between Worlds, because normally A Link Between Worlds, it actually goes through. Just barge into the sick guy's house without knocking first. <laughs> I kind of do that with everyone, because if you... Unless you run into them, if you run into her, that happens, and they sick the guards on you. And then the door is... Oh, open up! Open up! Open up! Okay, I give up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go into uh, East Palace, or, or Eastern Palace already.
<laughs> Only because I think after the second dungeon we can do a few more things and then go right into the third one. I can never remember what the second one is called. I know like the first one's like Eastern Palace, then there's something else, probably like Desert something, and then Tower of Hera, which is the third one, but they're all pretty easy. And then the bug catching net, um, can use that to get fairies. Not gonna get not gonna get fairies until I'm like about halfway or most of the way through the dungeon. Or the Yeah, I'll say dungeon. It's an appropriate term. Shouldn't I meet with the elder? You're right, I should. Uh, technically, you don't have to meet with the Elder. Because talking to the... All the Elder does is just teach you where um, where the map is. And I've played this game a million billion times, so... I think... Uh, I, I know exactly where to go for each area. When it gets to, like, the fifth dungeon in Dark World, that's when I start things start getting fuzzy for me. Say FBI open up. <laughs> we know you have illegal memes. So this is the first the first dungeon you go to. Delete the memes. <laughs> Delete the memes. And this is where we're going to get more. I do need to get more hearts. Just because that looks pretty low. Can't, w <laughs> Can't wait to join my Discord. Yeah, it's a shame that that happened, but... Oh well. Apparently, it's, it's a case of people think they know more, they know better, or other people think they know more. Uh, what's better for us? I don't know. I wouldn't really say us. I can't. Ident I can't identify with that anymore. Take the boomerang with me. Anything here? Sweet, an extra heart. I've been so bored since. Yeah. Again, it's, it's a shame that it happened because it was like, oh, hey, here's this random thing that happened out of nowhere. I was like, dude. And then, yeah, there you go. That's the, per the person you're supposed to go meet was the one who actually... Uh, can talk to you with telepathy. There we go. Dang it. I collected one too many fairies. But I can do that again. And we're good. Because now I have to basically go this way. Can I get a snack? Alright, cool. Should be more than enough. Actually, that's a lot of that's a good amount of arrows. We got the key that we need and damage that we take the moment we step outside. You can actually hurt these ones with uh, 
with the boomerang. It just doesn't do a lot of damage. It takes, I think, three to hurt. Back. Neat. And then with that, we can get the big key that's right here. And now we can shoot all the things. Just none of these things because I don't want to fight them. No. They can go away. I hate those guys so much. Like they take your yeah, they take your magic. And Remember, I used to have so much trouble in these areas. Now it's like, it's so weird that I could just breeze through the entire game. Like, it's rare when I have a spot where I'm stuck for, for a long period of time. It's always just a minor inconvenience. Okay, well, I'll get more arrows out of it. Cool. Or I could just hit him with the pot. <laughs> so, how is uh, how was everybody's May 4th? Their, uh, any of your tweets get used by Disney advertising? Because they technically own your tweets now. <laughs> or they own that tweet that uses the stupid hashtag they have. I'm not a fan of Star Wars. Like, I've only seen the second, um, not second, uh, episode two, and that's it. I tried to stay away from Twitter, but I haven't seen much in terms of Star Wars. Okay. Right there. Oh, there's one more. And done. They didn't try to advertise it nearly as much as previous years, I guess. I, I think because they had like, oh, share something, share like something uh, Star Wars using that hashtag. And then been, the reply afterwards was like their terms and conditions of it, saying that they can use your account or your tweet. Oh, voice crack. Oof. I eventually I'll grow up and not have voice cracks. <laughs> that they'll use your tweet or something for it. And like I never understood why they. Ha I don't. I don't. Under I don't get it. I don't get it. People just put May the Fourth. Now it's like you put May the Fourth, and they get to advertise it. People are talking about it. So free. <laughs> so free advertisement, pretty much. But like openly saying that they're using it for advertising, kind of sucks. There we go. It's even on Fortnite. They probably did a... Oh yeah, because I remember they had a, uh, a Star Wars thing that they did for it. I'm sure how legal that is though. That's claiming ownership on, on a hashtag, which I'm pretty sure only Twitter can own because of their platform ownership. Um, I don't know, because... Like, the hashtag me of the fourth it tends to be used by, like, the hashtags tend to be used by, like, a lot of sites, so it's more than just, you know, it's more than just Twitter using it. I think it's just like, oh, if you have a public account and you're posting it with that hashtag, they get to use it, which I don't agree with how they worded it. I mean, I know some of them do po would probably post it anyways, but it's like, oh, if you post this, we get to use your tweet no matter what. It's almost like... Kind of reminds me of like uh, whenever there's like a news story, uh, somebody posts something, and then some journalist is like, "Hey, can we DM you about using this post or something?" 
But rather than going like, hey, can we DM you? It's like, hey, we're going to use this whether you like it or not if it's public. And I find that to be really dumb. Also, if you need more fairies, you can just open that up. And go in here, and there's some fairies. It's on Fortnite again. Why? Because they did... <laughs> They did Star Wars stuff for it uh, on Christmas. That's funny because like that was the only reason I was opening Fortnite. It's like, oh, in case I ever feel like playing this game again, I'll open up presents for Fortnite skins and junk. And then come to find out, it's like five mi months into the new year, I don't play Fortnite. Like I just don't care. I know it's a popular thing to hate, but my thing is just I don't care about it find the building to take away from the actual fun. Oh, watch this. Hold on. Read up on it, they can claim ownership, they have a site based on it, so they are trying to copyright the phrase and turn it into a hashtag of the phrase. Ew. Yeah, Link, I'm now quarreling with my brother. I sealed the door to his room. Oh no, look what I did. Oh, so the doorway's open again. Okay, okay, maybe I should make up with my brother. Oh no, I broke the door. It's not even a door. It's You sealed the wall. Is he still angry? Yeah, he's pretty pissed. Yeah, but He's there. And this, I have 15 seconds to get to the heart piece. And done. Eight seconds. Just need one more piece and I'll have the full heart, which we can get in the next, the next area we're going to. I wonder, like, how many people on the YouTube channel would assume that I really don't know how to play other games whenever I struggle. You know what I mean? Like, some that might assume that I don't know how to play a game. And, then, like, just show them this, and it's like, oh. Well, yeah, of course he knows how to play that game. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting at with it. Just figured it'd be funny. And then... Oh, actually, no, we can get it before... Okay, cool, we can get the full heart before we go in here. We just... Before we go into the into the dungeon... Uh, we're gonna drain the water, or, yep, yeah, I guess, drain the water that's outside. We're gonna let, we're gonna let this, uh, go. Then on the outside, it'll look like this. That if someone sucks at a game, they suck at all games. It only applies to them, though. Ah, okay. Is Game Grumps any good? <laughs> no, they made fun of Sonic, and and I can't stand it. So gamers unite! We're gonna make fun. I think the whole, I think the whole thing was like people getting mad at Game Grumps is stupid. It's like are you really gonna take them serious? I don't know, but it's just like Sonic fans who just like, oh, let's just cause this uproar. Eh, whatever. It's like, who ca Okay, do this. Who cares? It's Game Grumps. It's not like it's... For, it's not like it's somebody who... It's not like it's a group of people who do their... Who take their time and actually play the game as best as they can. Because they suck at pretty much every game and it gets old seeing someone nonstop fail. True. Then you must not know who Darkside Phil is. Uh, I didn't say that. Actually, no, that one's hilarious for a messed up reason. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> I 
Alice, is there a reason that you're a little heated today? I, I mean, seriously, I, I feel like the, uh, I feel like the caps is a little much. Just saying. Call for bankruptcy is actually his legal documents and much more invested than that than I should be. <laughs> Trust me, it's very interesting to find out how he dug himself into a, a deeper hole somehow. Does it make, does it mean that it's, uh, doesn't make us great people, but man, is it interesting. So, uh, I'm going to be stealing a thing from him. Uh, every time we hit the goal, I am going to get a vest. I don't know why it's a... But I'm going to refuse to get more than one. <laughs> I think... This is some... Oh, it's, yeah, I am going in the right place. He actually excluded the vest from the list of stuff on bankruptcy. <laughs> so is the vest not in his possession? I don't I don't understand how that works. See, I've never been in that much I've never been that far in the hole to where uh I would need to know that stuff, but According to him, no. That's insane. That's funny. There's like two channels that um that I tend to watch. One of them's uh, memeology, and I swear every day there's a new video, or every two days. You need context. Uh, Darkside Phil is a gamer who uh, is notorious around the online gaming scene. Uh, he's basically an example of how not to be a content creator. And also, oh man, there's just a lot on this guy. Um, I had to get I had to get caught up on this person. Like I knew a little bit of like a little bit about him, but I didn't know enough. So uh, there's a like an hour long. Actually, I don't think it's an hour long. I think it's like 30 minutes from a series called Down the Rabbit Hole, and it basically goes up to I think 2016. So it, it kind of catches you up to everything up to 2016, and then everything else, I think it's like, you have to find out on your own, which, eh, it's interesting. I remember one of the, one of the things I heard about the guy was that when he was, um, I think when he was doing more things on YouTube and he was doing giveaways, uh, he would... I think he would give them signed game cases because he sold the actual game inside of it. Or he traded it into GameStop, which don't trade in games to GameStop without the case. Or don't trade anything to GameStop. Let's just go with that because they get rid of the case and um, everything after that is his love life went horrible. He still sucks at games, filed for bankruptcy and will lose his second house. And he screwed himself over and he still hasn't sold his first one. I believe that was the other thing. So yeah. Uh, also, uh, anyone from Twitch, if you're if you're hearing this, we're not bullying. We're just catching someone up to speed on a person. It's interesting. Uh, no bullying. I mean, I, I I know I run with a group of people and we call ourselves bullies, but no bullying. How does bankruptcy work? I actually don't know. Like I said, I never. <laughs> Never, like, never completely shot myself in the foot to the point where that happened. Hope I never do. This should be in... Actually, it's on the top one. It's all good. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, okay. But that happens. Then the banks can claim ownership of your stuff to get uh, to sell at auctions to make back what you owe. Exactly. Oh, so that's why he does. That's why he does that. Uh, so he doesn't have to lose the vest.
Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, we have like two fairies. I had low health anyway, so it didn't matter. Slow down, okay. Whoa, emulation, what are you doing? And done. He kept his list tiny, which the banks might very well look into, and if he's caught lying, he will lose more than possibly go to prison. Wow. Rip to that guy. All right, we've got one more to go, and we're only 45 minutes in. Holy crap. Um, this might be a shorter stream than I thought. <laughs> Ow. I think that's just a, uh, just a fairy fountain. I don't really need it. But I think before I go to, um, before I go to the last place, I think what I'm going to do is make a quick stop to upgrade a few things. see how much that you actually have to go around. What happens if you enter the dark world without the moon pearl after beating uh, after beating Agnum? Uh, you're just in a rabbit suit and you're stuck there until you can get out of dark until you can get out of that area. Um, so yeah, if you can't get out that way, then you are stuck. But since you have the uh, the mirror, you can use that to get out. I think. You might actually... No, actually, no, there's a way out. You just have to avoid getting hit. Not as long as, what, Breath of the Wild... It's nowhere near Breath of the Wild length. Breath of the Wild takes forever to play, like... I think for me, this game is, like, either four hours. Breath of the Wild is, like, 20 or 30. Or in my originals, my current, like, my main save file that I play off-stream... Um, I think that one's like 50 or 60 just because I'm exploring everything. I'm just doing that so I can avoid the Zor. 20. Got a grocery run. I might be back if you're still streaming. Alright, thanks for coming by. My competition is left. Now I can. <laughs> now there's no competition for me. So what this basically lets me do is, well, I can swim. Oh. 
Yikes, SG. Um, okay, then. Might have just made an enemy with that with with that statement. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the boomerang in there because that will give me uh, a better boomerang. Then I will just do this. Because I have a shield and uh, that would allow me to... Well, it'll give me a better shield that'll let me deflect fireballs. Or not deflect, but it'll let me block them. And now we can go to the the final place on the Tower of Hera. But the best part is, I don't have to go all the way around, you know, kind of go downwards and upwards for it. Um, what I can do instead is just hop in the water and cross it right here. If I didn't get the Zora Flippers now, that actually, I would have to go all the way around. But actually, I think what I normally do is make a beeline straight for... Uh, for the tower. But what I can do first is go here. Push that in. There are items in here that you can get. All you gotta do is just get to where you can open it. <laughs> get to a point in the game where you can open it and then there you go. Get some bombs. Get 300 rupees. And get 10 arrows. So depending on where you are, if you're early in the game, it's super useful. If you're late in the game, uh, it's not going to help you out at all. Like, it's one of those, like, if you're later in the game, chances are you already have this stuff. You open this up. Hello. Bye. What do I happens if you talk to Zelda? I think she just tells you that. Something about being able that um that Hyrule is in like your hands or some something like that. And this man, he lost his lamp, so we're taking him to where he lives. But when you dash with them, it is the slowest thing. Apparently, he has some relation to one of the maidens that was stolen, or that was kidnapped. The golden power is obviously supersonic. It's triangular cheese. Um, it'll make sense the more we get into the game. It's funny, for a while I always thought it said golden powder. I don't know why, I just glanced at it and was like, golden powder? Okay, well, they're obviously onto some, uh, into something. You could talk to him to uh, get five rupees and get your uh, your health back. 
That's just a heart, and you can just throw stuff at them if you really want to, but it, it's not really worth it. But with the mirror, um, it allows us to go back and forth between light and dark world. I think there's something in here we can get. I don't remember what it was. But I know I can get something. Oh yeah, it's another heart piece. That's what it was. So now I'm at three. And I think I'm going to get uh, one of my fairies back. I clearly have replayed the game <laughs> a lot. <laughs> like I said, I, I've, I played it to the point where I was able to, I think, I think I was able to get everything done in like four hours or maybe five. I don't expect it to go that smoothly here, but if it does, that's cool. If not, then okay. Now, with this, we have a bully here. This one say to me, silly rabbit. I came here to get the gold, the power of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reasons to be stressed out, so back off. Shoo, shoo. Who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but ha evil has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and your mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turned into a ball. But if you have a ball called the moon pearl you can keep your original shape here okay yeah it's it's good that this game's on switch online I mean it's like one of the Super Nintendo games to play so and one of their biggest ones so or most popular ones so I mean it's, it's a no-brainer it's like one of those you have to if you like Nintendo you kind of do have to play this game at some point in your life this I'll go down here Technically, I mean, there's a map here. I don't really need it. I don't need it. But it's there. And I think this is one more. Sonic 06 is a must play for the glitches alone. Ew. Sorry, but... 06 is not a must play for glitches. It is just a game. That's all I can say. It's just a game. I almost got caught. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry. We only have this and the... Uh, we have this, get the Master Sword, and then after that we can finish up with Hyrule Castle and then kind of call it a, a quick stream. I know it's a bit of a shorter stream, but I can do a lot more next time. Only because I got caught up with a few things today. This is a compass, isn't it? Oh no, it's the master key. Okay, so I did, or the big key. So I did need this. That was easy. It's all good. All right. <laughs> I think what we can do is because I know for sure uh, Garlic64 is streaming Mario64 right now because he's playing a special version of it. We can we can raid him afterwards. So anyone who does want to hang uh, stick around for that uh, when I'm done with this dungeon, feel free. But if you can't make it, it's all good. 
here. Let me do that. It's just, I, I wasn't in the mood to play Zelda games because I've been playing them for like the past week or so. But I kind of want to play. And my copy of Mario Maker 2, I don't know where it is. Yeah, I must have misplaced it somewhere. Yeah, I heard about that port. I want to try and get my hands on it just because I know for sure Nintendo will take it down. So I want that for that reason only. And I think that's what he's playing right now. Dang it. to me tomorrow. It's alright. Um, I'll just ask uh, Dylan for it. Because I know for sure he has it. He was looking for it all day yesterday, so I know for sure he has it. And that's the Moon Pearl. Now this enemy is, or the boss that we're gonna go, up, I'm gonna go up against right now is gonna be pretty annoying, but should be able to knock it out pretty fast. This is uh, Moldora, Moldra, whatever it's called. Ow! The idea: tiny platform to stand on, just don't get hit. Oh, okay. Uh huh. And that's the scary part. Ow. Yeah, I'll just. I won't charge. Attack him. Damn. It's not that bad of a boss. No, it's just pretty annoying every time that you have to, like, restart just because he knocks you off. That's, like, the only part of it. That's annoying. Everything else is like not very. It's not a. It's not an offensive boss like other ones where it'd be like super difficult. Hey, f I'm twenty rupees. Neat. All right, let's fight him again. It's just you know if you get knocked off, it's pretty annoying. So I'll just kind of take it slow on this one. I won't go for any charge. Actually, I might. I'll go for charge attacks whenever he's moving slow. Whenever he starts moving fast, that's when I'll probably avoid them. Never mind. I just hit him like three times in a row like that. Alright, got that. And we got that. I'm curious. Like, like I'm talking pretty close into this. I don't know if I'm like clipping or not, so I'm going to lower it a little bit down on my interface. And now we can go to Lost Woods and get a Master Sword. <laughs> Easy. Exactly. And from there, we can go to right here. Go up here. And the way to get out is through there. This will take you to, um, actually to the area right next to Lost Woods. Oh, damn. I try to, sp I usually sp uh, start sprinting from here so I can stop myself there. Like so. And then from there, I can just do that. There's nothing there. Nothing of use there. I think the interesting part is when we get to like Dark World. We are only one hour in. Alright, if I feel like it's too short of a stream. 
because it's starting to it's starting to feel like that where it's too short of a stream i might do the first dungeon in the dark world and then we can call it a stream there because an hour uh no saria song she saria was not an a, uh saria whatever her name is uh was not an actual character by then she it was just a name because she didn't exist there was a town of saria in uh Adventure of Link, so Zelda 2. Because all of the... Uh, all of the uh, sages in Link in Ocarina of Time are named after towns in Zelda 2. Link, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, believe you, I believe you can deflect the e wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Link. Now we got a glowy sword. Nah, it's just like, it's kind of bluish. Link, help. The soldiers are coming to Sanctuary. And they got her. This I'm gonna need. So before I go to Hyrule Castle, we're gonna go to the Sanctuary. Technically, you don't need to. You could just go straight to Hyrule Castle and do what you need to there. But there's a specific thing to show. Also, because I need to go to the uh, the potion shop to get to send the mushroom there. It's like a blue lightsaber, only it's not though. True. Very true. What's even in here? I don't remember what's in here. Probably money. Oh, okay. Well, that saves a lot of trouble. You're a second too late. I have failed. Zelda, the soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are the only hope. Yes, F's in the chat for the uh, for the sage, or not sage, uh, the sanctuary. It's supposed to be a priest, but obviously you can't say priest in a in a North American Super Nintendo game. But that's the idea. That, that person was a priest, protecting Zelda from the soldiers. But they found out where she was, and they took her. Now this person, the witch that's right here, is... Did that. So, later on, I come back and I will have an item that I can actually use instead of just having a mushroom. But for now, we gotta go to Hyrule Castle and uh, smack the crap out of things. Mario just like that. <laughs> well, I don't care what Mario disliked. The idea is that now we can go here and over here, it's supposed to be protected by power, but with the Master Sword, it goes away.
arrows are just stronger against them. I don't understand that. <laughs> it's funny, it's a sword that's supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be a very powerful sword, but it's still weaker than arrows. Which makes no sense. <laughs> Narrative, though. But the sword is, is weaker. The music here is so good, though. Dang it. <laughs> Technically, I need to go around here, actually. Go up here. I took the incorrect route because I need to get the key to open it. There it is. Then I can come back down. Link's Awakening when? Um, I might play the remake. Like, I have the remake readily available to play right uh, on my Switch. I actually have it in my Switch right now. Uh, we could probably do that after A Link to the Past. Or maybe, like... Yeah, we could probably do that after, after like, I beat A Link to the Past and maybe do a chill stream or two. We can do that. The remake sucks. Uh, it's not a... I mean, it's a pretty good remake. It's just not a $60 game. Almighty Master Sword, weaker than a puny wooden arrow. Masterful. Yeah, there is some charm that's lost. I mean, if I really want to, I could just buy the remake for the uh, for the 3DS Virtual Console, and then I could stream it off my 3DS. Either one is a is a viable option. It's just I think I get lost a lot more with the original. Just because, um, there's a few, um, a few things that make it a bit easier to, to recommend and play the, uh, the new one, because a lot of the hints that they give you, you can reread them in your town, in, like, in your map, so you can do that. Um, so if I really want to, I could get the 3DS version. It's still, you know, it's basically DX. What about emulation? That is emulation. It's just legal. Gotta keep it... I'm doing my best to keep everything kind of, you know, legit, so if I can, I will. If it's not possible, then it's not possible, then I'll go the other, the other route with it. So I understand, you know, emulation is still a thing, but, um, playing on like something that isn't just a window on my computer makes it easier for me to pay attention to the chat because I could just have that off to the side. Nobody cares if it's emulation or illegal or not. It's emulation. I know. It's just easier for me. Because all I got to do is look at the game and then look at the chat. Um, like how I am right now. Rather than having it take up uh, part of a window on my computer. And that window covering up like... Female Link died. Now that's a different character. Let's fight. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, having one monitor sucks. Especially when your setup is supposed to be like, um, you know, take it apart and put everything away. It's not the most ideal, so it's what I work with. <laughs> I don't need a Master Sword to kick your butt. Come on. 
I think you can do this in A Link Between Worlds as well, which is hilarious. Ow. I'm gonna catch a wizard. And done. <laughs> Bugnet, so OP, please. <laughs> nerf, please. Only on Link's world can you use it. Butterfly net to deflect energy balls. You can do this. I think you can do the same thing with, uh, with a, um, oh, what is it? A bottle in Ocarina of Time, but I think the timing on that is a bit more precise or a bit more like demanding or like it'll demand something more precise the place where you stand was once the golden land but evil powers turned it into the dark world the wizard has broken the wise men's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at hyrule castle in order to save this half of the world the light world you must win back the golden powder or power you must also rescue the seven maidens who agnum sent to the dark world as members of the bloodline of the seven wise men they have the power that will surely help you. The maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Link, I can rely only on only you. Please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you. So pretty much um, Dark Palace is same, same location as the East Palace, but in Dark World. Uh, the new thing in this is that everything hits twice as hard. So, um, that's going to be interesting when every enemy hits. Enemies, like, don't really do a lot of damage. In Dark World, every, everything just hits super hard. Compared to, like, how much health you have. I almost have my entire first row done, but still, they're going to do a lot of damage. I think it would probably be a better idea to just go through these, the first dungeon at least, in Dark World. See? That's how much damage it does, and compared to how much damage I actually do. So I think maybe doing the first one, and then we can kind of call it a day. I know it's not a super long stream. If I streamed like how I normally do, I could probably cover the entire game. At least most of it. So when we come back to it, I can finish it. That is not the direction I go. It is this way. Kiki the monkey, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare ten? Yeah, sure. Here. And the, this monkey will actually need a useful item with me. I'll take the boomerang. So I can push stuff away. The idea is that uh, Kiki um, can do something for you. Like this. But if you take damage, he runs away. But you have to do it for the price of 100 and, basically 110 rupees to kind of open. To have him follow you and go. And every time you take damage after paying the 10, you have to pay another 10. This isn't Sonic. <laughs> no, it's not. This is... It's it's not a coconut. I'm going to do this. Like, this tends to be the last thing I take care of, but I remember that this one always... It always stopped me here because I needed a key. What's that? What is that? Hey, DX Puff, thank you so much for hosting. And then from here, I don't think I can push this. Yeah, no. I just have to reopen the door. There we go. What does hosting do? It just, uh, it shows your stream on their channel. So... Uh, if somebody goes to your channel uh, thinking that you're might, you might be streaming or something or like seeing what you're doing and you're not doing anything and you have someone hosting, it would be showing their stream of, instead of yours and it'll and it'll give you an option to like kind of direct them to or direct to their channel. It's something that I wish YouTube did, but obvious for obvious reasons YouTube doesn't do it. Yeah, it's it's a very cool feature. Like, if YouTube did stuff like this as well to allow other people to grow, that'd be cool to do. I would be for it. I probably would have been streaming on YouTube more, but 
YouTube just lacks so many features that Twitch has kind of made it apparent that these are features you can't go without because they're useful. I'll be honest, I love A Link to the Past. I don't like the music in this area. Like that. We'll bust that one open. Yeah, YouTube is more video based. It's a uh somebody explained this pretty well. I think it was like one of the channels that I watch, uh, Game Attack. Uh, they said that for YouTube, it's a it's an excellent video hosting site, but not but it only um that has a live streaming feature. It was like, what was the difference between Twitch and YouTube? It was like, oh, um, you see, Twitch is a video hosting site with, or is a um streaming site with a video hosting feature. YouTube is a video hosting site with a streaming feature. So it's obvious that one kind of, one feature has higher priority over the other. So there's a reason why that I don't really have I'm not exactly uh, the most enthusiastic about streaming on YouTube when it's like when I was doing that for a while where I was actively streaming instead of just like doing for special reasons um, that's why I wasn't very enthusiastic about YouTube streaming because it just wasn't really that great and a lot of my videos at the time streams would get demonetized or they would get um, uh, or they would have some kind of issue with them but with like the Sonic Mania stream I did recently, that one has a copyright claim on it that I'm trying to that I'm trying to uh, dispute because that is stupid be for obvious reasons. You know, the third party that kind of claimed it doesn't own the actual song or the, the actual piece of music for uh, Green Hill Zone, but you know they try to act like they do. So it's a complicated thing. It really sucks. Have I played Sonic Boom multiplayer? I've never... Uh, if you're talking about Rise of Lyric, I've never played it. Like, I've never touched Rise of Lyric before. Because I don't own a... I don't own the system for it. This one should give me the master key. Or the big key. Sorry. I keep calling it the master key. <laughs> it's like the shotgun attachment for Black Ops. The master key. But yeah, uh, I've never... If you're talking about Rise of Lyric, I've never... Actually, any of the Sonic Boom games, I've never played the multiplayer for it since... Uh, I'm only, I'm really the only one, um, out of the, like, friends group and, uh, and, like, family and stuff that actually actively plays Sonic. Um, and I mean, like, not online friends group. I have a few friends who actually do play it and are huge fans of it. Um, I mean, like, people that I live, that I live near, that I know, um, they don't really actively play Sonic. <laughs> yeah, same difference. But yeah, they don't actively play Sonic, so it's like... It's it's going to be a little tough to convince people that don't really play it to... Play a multiplayer for Boom. You know? That was not what I was supposed to do. This is bombs and probably a key. Yeah, it's not ex it's not really a Sonic game. It's more of a game with Sonic characters. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I've never played it. Like, if you're talking about Rise of Lyric, haven't never touched it because I don't own the system for it. Only because I never really seeked out a Wii U. I thought it was an okay system, but you know, it'd be nice to have third-party support, and it didn't really get that. So I can do that. Go here. But I did say, you know, the moment that my channel reaches um, 100,000 subs, I will go out of my... Well, I mean, I think by then I'll would will already have a, a Wii U. Because I know they're not going to port it to the Switch. But um, I'll go out of my way to get the game and just kind of... Get it all set up for whenever I have that silver play button in my hand, but you know it's only if we get there. There's no guarantees on YouTube. It's supposed to be a prequel to the TV series, like what? Yeah, it's supposed to introduce. Ki uh, I don't know. Yeah. 
games with multiplayer, I have no friends near me to play it, which makes me sad. Uh, for me, it's just like, whatever. It's not something I, I lose sleep off of. It's just something that's like, okay, so that's a thing I can't do. I know somebody's going to say emulation. That's not as easy to do as something like a GameCube game or a Switch game. Or not a Switch game. Uh, like a GameCube game or a Super Nintendo game or something like that or Genesis. Not as easy to do. You need something that's pretty powerful to run it. Plus, I like doing everything legit. So, you know, I like having actual hardware to work with. That's why I have a 3DS capture, because I wanted to record 3DS, but emulation isn't there yet. And if it is there, it only supports so many games, and probably none of the games I want to play or I want to stream. Emulate Dreamcast my discs are scratch. Right. My Breath of the Wild and Minecraft with and Minecraft with shaders at the same time. Yeah, not everyone has that. I don't have a, a system that could do that. Maybe in the future, but right now I don't. I just have a gaming laptop, a capture card, and consoles that I can use. So that's the best I that's what I get to work with. And I'm actually pretty happy for that, you know. Like three years ago I didn't have any of this stuff. Well, actually, I had a I had a weak I had a a capture card, but it wasn't as good as um, the HD60. But it's like I didn't have a lot of this stuff that I use for videos and and um, recordings, or like recordings and streams. I didn't really have that. It was just oh, I have screen capture software. I have OBS, which is screen capture, and also um, an Elgato HD ca game capture, which was the seven. It's like it can record uh, record or stream 1080 uh, 30 or 720 60, but the 60 FPS isn't very consistent. Um, with the Elgato HD 60, yeah, it's consistent, and I have even less latency to deal with. Here's an easy way to get copyright with Sonic Mini Music Tatino's song mode mods. Um, actually. All you have to do is just play Green Hill Zone and freaking CD Baby will actually copyright claim your video. And I've, I I think what I would do is go into that... There's like the video that has the actual song that they took, which was just a mediocre cover of Green Hill Zone and a bunch of other Sonic stuff. I would probably go in there and just tell the people there, hey, dispute it. You can dispute it because, trust me, you will actually win this one. But I think I need to go and email them because I've had the dispute on for so long and I'm just like, all right, I'll just leave. I'll just put the stream up there. Like monetization, there's no monetization going to that stream whatsoever because it's been a couple of weeks already. Or it's been like, I think about a week or two already. Or about a week. So at that point, you know, the people who do watch my videos have already seen it. At least the majority of them have. So it's like... Whatever, I'll just put the video, I'll put the stream up, and it's available. Cool. Any monetization from it is gone. That's just the way it works. Like, unless it's made any kind of money while I've had no access to, uh, to that video, or to the uh, monetization of that video... If it hasn't made any money off of it, then I, you know, what's the point? I just say shrug it, like whatever. Insert donation. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, streams with like maybe two, three, maybe four thousand views. They, I don't think they do too much. They, they don't bring in too much, but. I mean, it's not like that's the main concern. The main concern is just the fact that they're copyright claiming stuff that isn't theirs. That's like the whole thing. That's the more important thing. Just the fact that it's content that's not theirs, but they're deciding to claim other people's content for that. Because of a stupid automated system. And we're done. Is 
that a scorpion? That is the Helmet Sword Knight. You like this boss theme? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh crap, there goes my controller. I, I rest the controller on my leg and it just falls. This controller is going to break by accident and I'm going to be really sad. You got Diamond to beat the game? <laughs> this world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because of Ganon, the boss of thieves wished it the world was wished it the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer the light world, but after his power here, he is trying to open a larger gate between the worlds near the castle using our powers. The gate is not open the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my normal form at that time. Do you understand? Yep. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. An actual Minecraft noob. I barely know how to play. <laughs> and, yeah, that was it. A lot of progress made. Like, how long was it? It's just shy of an hour and a half, and then we can, prob we can probably destroy take out the rest of this in, like, another two and a half hours, so... Um, I think Wednesday, what I'm going to do, we'll do a chill stream on Wednesday, pop in some more Minecraft, play that. Friday, we'll come back to A Link to the Past, and then we'll carry on from there. So, yeah. So, I think that's the plan. Um, I know it's a, it's a short stream. I kind of got caught up in a few things, but, uh, I'll make sure, you know, we'll finish A Link to the Past, but we're going to do a Minecraft stream because Twitch owes me a Minecraft session, not Twitch viewers, Twitch the website, because it went down the time that I did it, and then the other time I tried doing it, the site wouldn't even let me stream, so hopefully we can stream on Wednesday. Fingers crossed. Knocking on wood. Let's hope, let's hope we can get a Minecraft stream on Wednesday, and I'll try to get it as at my usual start time. If you go live, get me that diamond, let me go to my Christian Minecraft server, I would duplicate it. <laughs> I, I play on Xbox. Like, I'm streaming it so I can play on an Xbox. So I can, like, have easier audio balancing. So that we can also play some uh, some really dope stream uh, stream beats as well. So, yeah. Yeah, let's hope Twitch won't die. Because if not, then I'll just do a YouTube stream and we can find something to do there. Um, So, yeah. Let's go raid Garelix64 and let's hope that he is still streaming. Also, Lazy Lazy Gamer Boy, thank you so much for following. Sorry I missed the uh, the alert. But hopefully you're still in the. Ch hopefully you're still, you know, watching. If so, then thank you very much. But we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go raid a friend of mine, Garelis64. He's playing some Mario 64. Very fitting. So let's go and do that. I want to thank everyone for coming by, and I will see you next time. Also, I'm gonna be working on content for the channel. You know, just you know, if I'm not being completely lazy. Uh, will I let viewers join that Minecraft stream? I'm playing on Xbox, so it's a little hard to bring people in. I don't know exactly how to do that. We can figure it out by then. But for now, um, like we can talk about it then, or um, like leading up to that. But for now, we can play, uh, we can go and uh, we can go and raid Garelis64, and then I'm gonna work on some YouTube content so I can have stuff actually releasing, so my channel doesn't look dead to YouTube and be like, oh well, so much for that. Hey, say goodbye to the algorithm. Don't need that happening. And then without defeating a bad Nick, will be worked on this week. I've been kind of slacking at it because I have found a other a different project that is outside of Knuckles Channel that I have yet to talk about. I'm probably not going to talk about it until it's ready. But it will be coming soon. Um, I can't say anything about it. I'm not going to try and hype it up because that's eventually hyping it up means that it just becomes more disappointing. But with that said, hopefully you all have a hopefully you all have a wonderful and safe day. And like I said, I'll see you next time. Take care.